welcome to our event. It is my pleasure to welcome our special guest, Ms. Shirin Nilin Zawdo. She has done Masters in Nutritional Sciences from University of Nottingham Science, United Kingdom. She is now currently pursuing MBA in Marketing from the Indian Institute of Management and Research from Bangalore. We are truly honored to have you here. Good morning everyone. So firstly I would like to wish all my teachers a very happy Guru Purnima. Because of them I am here standing in front of you and given a chance to speak to you all. Uh, I would like to thank Father Ashley for giving me this opportunity and you know making me come back to my own school as a speaker. So especially today it's an honor to be here and speak in front of you. Uh, so do you all know what a nutritionist is? Anyone? No? Dietitian? Yeah, please raise your hand. Please say, what do you know about it? Okay, no worry, it's fine. Even I was like that when I was in school. So I'll just explain you the difference between a nutritionist and a dietitian. So I am a nutritionist. Uh, as mentioned, I did my masters from UK. So it was a one and a half year course. And so basically the masters was known as masters in nutritional sciences. So after that I could practice as a nutritionist. So a nutritionist is someone who would advise you what to eat, what not to eat. So you can see you know in the ads ki vazan kam karna ho, herbal life khai hai. So no, don't do that. So you should always go to a registered person. And whereas when it comes to a dietitian, a dietitian is someone who deals with the clinical part of your life. For example, if you have just met an accident and you are admitted in the hospital. So there is someone known as a dietitian who would look after your food requirements. What would you need to recover or uh, what sh should be eaten for a good recovery. So, uh, I was asked that uh, I should guide you all how to go ahead in your life if you want to become a dietitian or a nutritionist. So, is there someone who would want to pursue uh, this dream? Anyone? Apart from being doctors and engineers, jo bante, is there someone who would want to do something different? Is there a doctor or engineer? Banna? You know, there are many things. So back when I was in school, our parents were like, doctor hi banna hai, engineer hi banna hai, uske aage kuch tha nahi. So nowadays, uh, people are aware of different things that you can do in your life. So like, if you are, uh, you know, into, what do we say, gymming or exercises or you know, creating awareness in uh, people's life. So you can definitely uh, choose this career. So I would suggest once you are done with your 10th standard, you, if you want to pursue this stream, you should go for science. So if you have a biology background, you can opt for this subject. So once you are done with your 11th, 12th in biology, PCB, or you can go for PCMB, but you should have that biology subject in your you know curriculum so after 12th standard there are many courses that you can pursue so it's like uh, you can uh, do bsc in nutrition and dietetics bsc in public health and uh, so or uh, bsc in home sciences or maybe food technology so do you all know what uh, food technology is Anyone? No? So it's basically these people they research about things what you eat. You know, there are packed foods nowadays, there are uh, different kinds of cold drinks and everything. So these people are behind that. So they teach you everything about food which is, you know, can be combined with technology. So once you're done with your uh, this thing, you know, 
bachelor's in food and science or bachelor's in nutrition and dietetics there's a period of 6 months where you have to complete the internship okay so once you uh, do that 6 months ka internship you can start working in a hospital or you know you can go on your own and uh, there are many colleges who offer these courses so you know there's a stereotype where people say ki sirf ladkiya dietitian rehti hai ya fir sirf ladkiya nutritionist banti hai there's no such thing even if a guy wants to pursue this career you can do it and side by side there are many certificate courses that you can do you know uh, if you want to become a personal trainer plus you're a sports nutritionist so like who wouldn't want to work with an ipl team guys ipl dekhte hai sab see abhi aawaz aa raha hai cricket ka naam liya to so it's like uh, what if you dream about uh, you know uh, being a sports nutritionist for an ipl team obviously you can do this so let's say you become a sports nutritionist you do your internship and then you get a placement or a chance to work in a ipl team you would do that right even for girls so there are many ways that you can use this and even after you do sports nutritionist become a sports nutritionist you can always pursue sports management like mba in sports management So you know there might be a question why I am pursuing MBA now after being a nutritionist. So it's like I did my masters in nutrition. I practiced for a while, and I have plans of you know of a startup. So that is why I decided to do MBA. So it's you know it's never ending. It's like. I'll be a double graduate now, and that's a good thing. So never stop studying. Uh, and I was asked that uh, I should tell you about the colleges or entrance exams that you could uh, take. So let's say once you are done with your this thing, bachelors. So there are top six colleges for this. If you want to note down, you can note down the name. so for uh, bachelors like which is your degree bsc sndt women's university mumbai uh, this is only for girls <laughs> then there is rd national college mumbai so mithi bhai college so mithi bhai offers bsc food science and nutrition You all know about SIS College, no? So write down SIS College of Arts, Science and Commerce, Mumbai. Board of Kalsa College, yeah. write down. Is Nirmala Niketan College of Home Science. Uh, so I would like to tell you about certain diploma courses also that you can do. You know, uh, you're done with your this thing. Well, standard. If you want to start working, so there are some diploma courses that you can do, or while you're doing your BSc. So, sports science and fitness nutrition, food processing and technology, community nutrition and public health, clinical nutrition and dietetics, and the last one is public health and nutrition. so these courses are you know fssa certification courses so this would you know add up to your cv do you all know what a cv is do you have one obviously i don't expect you to have one it's all right so once you're done with your bachelors you can start working as i told you you can do your 6 months internship in a hospital or uh, with a registered dietitian 
and then uh, you can just get into the field and start working or else if you wish to go for masters you can always do that so as i told you i did my masters in nutritional sciences and health so there are various types of masters you can go for masters in public health or community nutrition or there's food science and nutrition or if you wish to get into the biotechnology side of it you can always get into food technology so there are certain colleges with which offer you know top tier top the top tier colleges which offer these courses as well so everyone knows about uh, this thing jnu you all know about jnu so note down jnu so for jnu uh, they have the entrance exam which i also gave and sadly i couldn't uh, crack it for like 2 3 marks or something but yeah i did well in my life and i'm happy so for jnu uh, you have entrance for nin national institute of nutrition so this is uh, located in hyderabad so you just note down the names you all heard of uh, aims right obviously so aims also you know they have this course masters in uh, nutritional science and they do have entrance for this and the last one is university of delhi the university So this is all about the colleges, the entrance exam that you have to do. So you have this clear idea in your head now that you have to pursue science if you want to get into this field. Yes. So if you wish to do, you know, masters के बाद भी अगर पढ़ाई करने की इच्छा है, किसको करना है? PhD करना है किसी को? Anyone? No. You wish to study more after your masters? That's good. Baki kisi ko nahi padna. See only girls, guys. Don't be shy. It's all right. You can be a nerd and still be cool. So if you wish to, you know, pursue your PhD, you can, you know, obviously do that. so you can do mphil in nutrition and dietetics or phd in food science and nutrition so these were the things that you could do if you want to get into this field so i'll give you a brief idea about career opportunities uh, once you you know once you're done with your masters or your bachelors so you can uh, obviously be self employed so for that you have to give uh ex- like give an exam to become a registered dietitian you have to give this exam by uh, indian dietetics association so once you clear that exam you get that title so for me i am registered back in the uk so association for nutrition this is their association where i am registered so i have full rights to practice in uk and here as well So once you are done with your course as i told you you can be self employed or else you know you can become a re- researcher anyone interested in researching scientist banna kisi ko see yeah we have two people here so you can, once you are done with your phd side by side you can do this then obviously you can be a dietitian a health coach uh, you all use instagram No. <laughs> Scared of your teachers? Ha. Ha, bologe to that padegi. Like na. Be honest, who all are on Instagram? 
See, honest students we have here. So, <laughs> okay. So, do one thing for me today. Once you go back, uh, you can Google these uh, top dietitians that uh, I'll tell you. You can Google Anjali Mukherjee, or you know, just search them on Instagram. Pooja Makija. and uh, Rujuta Adhibekar so these are the top dietitians uh, in India and uh, they are like celebrity dietitians and nutritionists so just look at their page so you'll get an idea what exactly is that we do you know in uh, creating awareness or helping people to follow a healthy lifestyle Uh, so once you're done with this, uh, you can also become a you know health and uh, nutritional educator. You can become a teacher, or uh, you know there are many government exams that you can give after pursuing these subjects. Uh, you can be a you know food inspector also if you wish to get into the you know government services and everything. So now uh, I would like to ask them if they have any questions. Okay. Just about overall Okay. That is one. Okay, so do you wish to go out and study? Anyone? I'll tell you the dark side of it. Huh? You have to wash your own clothes. You have to wash your own uh, utensils. You have to do everything on your own. I was there, ask you. So, uh, I'll tell you what I did. I did my bachelor's. A degree here and then I went for my masters so if you wish to go to UK or Canada so I gave eyes and once you get the specific uh, you know marks required for that uh, you have to send in your academics to the university so I did via IDP so you have IDP in Andheri and if you go there they will you know give you proper guidance on how to go ahead with your masters and I selected UK because I was fascinated by the culture and I wanted to go there but if you wish to go there and you know settle down there and get a job so I would suggest you either go to Germany or uh, Canada because UK doesn't really offer you jobs there you know so while Louisa interview you have to tell them that you're going to come back to your country so if you don't mention this uh, they are not, you know, they might reject your visa because uh, they don't want people to go to their country and settle down there. So you always have to be careful with your visa interview. Uh, so I just suggest you go to a, you know, agency. So IDP, they do this for free. They do not charge you any money for guidance and counseling. So you can go to IDP and let's say you wish to go to US. But US, they have this standard of 12 plus 4. So 12 plus 4 is your 12 years of education, like till your 12th standard. And 4 years of degree. But India offers bachelor's degree for like 3 years. So in that case, you would have to do your master's part 1 here. And then go to US. If you wish to go to US for your MS. If you wish to go to UK, they accept our degree. So 12 plus 3 is our degree, so they accept that degree. And I'll tell you one thing, they do not have any other entrance exams apart from IELTS. So you have to have strong academics if you want to get into top universities in UK. So the university I was in was top, you know, comes under top 100 universities around the world. So just because I had strong academics in my degree college, I was able to get in there. 
so there are certain uh, you know russell universities which offer courses you know different courses so you have masters in nutritional sciences you have masters in biotechnology you have masters in dietetics you have masters in nutrition you know being a nutritional therapist so there are various masters and options for you to choose always go on their website and you know see the modules and what you are interested in so this is what you do for you know if you want to study abroad and even if you go there you can always take up a part time job you know take up a part time job and now they offer two years of extra visa so when i was in uk they did not you know give me extra visa so i wasn't able to you know i did not have the time to find a work or anything but you all have this advantage if you really really wish to settle down there you have you get two years of extra visa you know to find a job or get your work visa done so this is about you know being abroad and studying there and i'll just quickly tell them what study method they follow so if you wish to study abroad you uh, as i did my masters course there i had like only two days of college in the whole week so the whole week two days of college and you know baki ke din you have to self study so the procedure that they follow there is self study uh, the teachers won't spoon feed you you know your they spoon feed you they give you notes and everything there you have to do it on your own so there are these huge libraries where you have to go and actually study and then um, you have to write essays you all know what an essay is right so you have to write essay uh, you know read papers and you have to mention that i've written this sentence from this paper so it is tough but fun as well so as i told you there are two sides of the coin right there's a dark side where you have to do everything on your own and there and there's other side also where you know you get the exposure there are people from various cultures and i feel this develops your personality and gives you confidence you know to survive in a different country away from your parents so these are the things that you need to know about uh, if you want to study abroad and even if you study abroad there are various opportunities that you'll get like uh, let's say maybe into research if you decide to do your phd there only they just absorb you in the system and maybe you can land up a job as an assistant teacher or something uh and if you come back here obviously you can work on your own and career opportunities i told you you can be an you can be a researcher or a clinical dietitian or a community dietitian just like that okay expenses um the tuition for my masters was uh, 22000 pounds and let's say if we convert it into indian currency it comes around 22 lakhs for one and a half year so you can you know get a student loan and it's really easy to get a student loan and this was just the tuition and if you want to you know for get a dorm or something the living expenses are different that comes around 7 to 8 lakhs but this is if you want to study abroad but if you want to study in india it is pretty cheap like your normal college fees like whatever you're going to pay for your bachelor's in other courses you're going to pay for uh, this in india and even for masters you you know there are many schemes for girls also there's like some educational scheme and for others it's like if you come under a certain quota you get off only if you see the expenses part it is really expensive to you know go out and study so it's up to you what you want to do if you really wish to go so you can always take a student loan so do you have any questions for me anything any silly question it's fine don't be scared no one is going to Uh, ma'am, when did you 
Okay, <laughs> this was the question I was scared of. So I'll tell you my story. I wanted to become a doctor, but because of certain things, I did not pursue MBBS. I decided to, you know, go for biotechnology. And like six, five, six years ago, it was trending. So when I decided to go for biotechnology, it was a new stream. Uh, and I really liked. Uh, wine technology in that so wine technology is something you know you learn how to make wine or you know how to make alcohol so i wanted to pursue that i can see someone smiling there wine sunke sab khush ho gaye yeah? so, so i was researching what can i do next and I had a food and nutrition subject in my biotechnology. So I had two options. Either go for biotechnology or become a nutritionist. So I thought, why not a nutritionist? You help people become fit. You help people, you know, uh, follow a healthy lifestyle. Or wine se kya hota? Loka bura hota. So that is why, that's how I realized that I want to get into this and because of certain medical issues that I faced, I was like I need to you know learn about how our body works and what all food you need to be healthy or you know to avoid uh, diseases. So that's how I realized it's okay you don't have to know what you're going to do right now. So when I was sitting there, I thought I'll be a doctor. But today I'm a nutritionist, so like it's fine. You, yeah, you should have a goal. You should know what you want to do, but do not stick to that. Keep your options open. So like, if your plan A, you know, doesn't go the way you want to, you should always have a plan B. That's uh, that's what I would say, because you need to be ready with what life throws at you. So that's how I realized because of certain medical issues, I was like I need to know about how things work and I need to get you know healthy that's how I realized anyone else? any silly question it's fine guys Girls ka score one hai, unne question pooch liya. See? Good. Is there any compulsions to go abroad? Do we have to give any exams or for your special plan? Okay, so if you want to go to UK or Canada, you know, you have to give IELTS. IELTS is an exam where they check your, you know, basically your language, English language. So there are four sections in that. It's like speech, reading, writing and, uh, you know, speaking. So you have to pass all these four sections and they have this criteria. For certain universities, there are different criteria. So if you pass that, uh, and as I told you, if your academics are like really good, you get into the top universities. So it's like that. For US, they don't have IELTS. Um, I think they have a GRE or something. So now it has changed. Even the, you know, what what do I say? The the cutoff for US has changed. But I know mostly about you know UK, Germany, Ireland. So if you want to go to these countries. Uh, you have to give IELTS and your academics has to be strong. If you are doing any extracurricular activities, mention that. And I would suggest, you know, start getting into social work. You know, any social, like join an NGO or just help someone so that you can mention all of these things on your CV. So before you go for your masters, you need to have a strong CV. I would suggest start doing free certification courses on Udemy and edX. They have many free courses. Whatever you like, what is just going to add up to your skills. So yeah. Uh, 
Why do you wish to do the startup? Sorry. Do you realize? Okay. Uh, so since I was a kid, my father always told me that um, you don't have to do that. Still, I got into corporate world. I got, I just got done with my internship like uh, two months ago. So you all know about MBA, right? So as I told you, I'm doing my MBA in marketing. So when I got back from UK, I worked for a while. Uh, I was going to doctors, Harvard's way diet in Boromli. And I realized that life or the work environment was pretty stagnant. There was no growth. So there was no growth for me. I wasn't learning anything new. And then I worked for a while as a community nutritionist with an NGO. So I did that. I went on my own. I had my own practice. And that's when I thought that I need to do something, you know, which would uh, be helpful or, you know, I would add up to the society. So I am thinking of coming up with a brand. So I already have a brand called Nutradec. So you can go on Insta, jiske paas hai, you can check Nutradec. So that is my website name or my page name. So that is my company name and that's how I practice nutrition. So I thought maybe I should come up with, uh, you know, a range of supplements. So you all know what a supplement is? Muscle base, suna hai na? Whey protein, suna hai na? Ha, so these are the supplements. So these are the proteins. Then you have other nutraceuticals like your vitamin C, your vitamin A. And all of these are called nutraceuticals. So, supplement is something you add it to your diet apart from your normal food. So, I decided to, that I want to create a range of supplements and, and get into that. So, that's how since I was a kid, I had that thing in my head that I have to do something of my own. Anyone else? See, uh, in the interview, you have to be or you have to act like that you are going to come back. But uh, there are many ways that you can find a job. So like if you find someone who could sponsor your visa over there, you know, you need to find someone, a person who has an organization there or who is already a citizen there to sponsor your visa, your work visa. So if you get like five years of work visa from them, you have to stay there for a year more somehow and then uh, there are high chances of getting a citizenship. It is just to mention in the visa interview that you are going to come back because see currently UK's economy is also you know slacking. The economy is not good so they are not going to keep you there. But till the time you reach that stage, in the interview just say that you don't want to you know stay there, come back to my country, do good for the country's people and everything. But Baki, you can you know stay there, find someone who could sponsor your visa or there are many other ways you know you can get a residency there. So it's just for that moment you have to say that uh, you, want, you wish to come back to your own country. Bore ho gai Sabjan? Struggle is very, 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 very
please, it goes back in the world. It goes back. It's not please. It's last year, very sketchy. The amount you have to arrange in the bank is to call the visa, then you have your fees, and then all the expenses, and then let's settle. So, can we explain this to me? See, I told you, different universities, they have different tuition. So, let's say uh, you did a student loan. So, there are, you need to approach the right bank. So, even I did a student loan. So, I did my student loan from Bank of Baroda. So, they give you a student loan. So, let's say my fees was 22,000 pounds. So, 22,000 pounds is roughly around 22 lakhs. And then 8 lakhs your dorm fee. But you can go there and find private houses as well, which are cheaper than a college dorm. And then there are, uh, if you're taking a student loan, you have to show that you can repay it. You know, so your parents would know more about that. And you know, so you have to have a certain amount of money in the bank, let's say 10 lakh or something. Because they need to know that even if you are in UK, you can survive on your own and you are not going to go bankrupt, you know. Uh, you need to show certain amount of money, uh, ten, around 10 lakh or something, to so that they know that you can take care of yourself and your expenses. And uh, housing loan, though, like I feel the parents would uh, know better and the bank would be able to explain you better, sorry, student loan, not housing loan, my bad. Uh, so, you can mortgage your place or something like that, but I would suggest you go to a bank, you speak to them and there are many formalities that you have to do. Uh, you have to give your previous year's certificates, your mark sheets and everything. And the struggle I told you, it is not easy to survive on your own. So, I was in UK. So that there were times when it used to get dark at 4 p.m. only. So everything's dark, there's no one on the road, your friends are far and like even if you are into dorms, that you won't see a single person. So then it hits you that you're all alone. So these are the days that you know you have to survive and just complete your course and try finding things. So I would suggest do not go for masters, go for your undergraduation. So, do you understand what undergraduation is? So, you go for your degree. So, what happens if you are there for three years? So, it increases your chance of getting a job there. So, we just had one and a half year, right? So, it was really difficult to find something, you know, studying and finding a job. But when you are there for three years, you understand the culture, you understand how the system works. So, you can easily find something there. That's my suggestion. But again, if you go there for three years, it is going to cost you money. So, you think accordingly, you won't get a student loan or your parents want to, you know, uh, sponsor your education. It's completely up to you. you uh, is it? Yeah, they can definitely ask them like about student loan if they wish to go abroad or even if they want to get a loan here. Let's say if they want to continue in management. So, they have provisions for everything. Okay, last one question. Teachers also can ask questions, huh? You can ask questions. Okay, so I'll tell you the yes, yes. 
the bitter truth that uh, nutritionists or dietitians don't get paid well in india like if you decide to work under someone else it's like a basic what you can expect a package of around uh, 3 to 5 lakh per annum per annum is like for 12 months so you divide 5 lakh by 12 months so that's how much you would start with okay but if you decide to have your own clinic your own practice so let's say you can charge around 2 to 3 k per month for a single client so it's like that so it's completely up to you which field you want to get into so if you're looking for a for becoming a clinical dietitian so you get to work in hospitals so there the packages they vary then if you decide to go on your own or work under someone else but i would suggest that you work for a while you know uh, get that experience or how things are done and then you go on your own so like you have your own practice so you target people let's say in your area or wherever you are based you need to find the pain point of the people it's like what exactly they are suffering with so i usually deals with uh, you know ladies like women who are in their late uh, 40s or you know early 50s so these are my target group so my clients are almost in that age range only and if you get it abroad so they pay you really good okay so in nhs nhs is a chain of hospitals in uk so it's like public uh, hospital and uh, they pay you really good so that package goes around like uh, you know 40000 pounds to 50000 pounds a year so they're getting a job they really pay you good but as i said the expenses are equally high in india they don't give you that much but the expenses you are like are low so if you wish to go there they pay you good if you wish to stay here if you reach one certain you know status or level you'll get a good uh, this thing salary and everything uh thank you so much uh, i would like to thank all my teachers and father to invite me here and to give me this opportunity to speak in front of you i never thought that i would come back to my school after you know what eight nine years and speak in front of people and especially guide them so it's an honor to be back here thank you so much I would request to well to give a round of applause. I stand here today to express my heartfelt thanks to all those who have made this event possible. On the behalf of all my friends, teachers, a special thanks to our teachers, Miss Shrinivas Sandhani, our ex-student for accepting our invitation and for being here to be host today. Your thoughts have truly inspired us. A special thanks to our principal for managing such inspirational session. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sir. Boy, I am so extremely happy to be here. Ah, it is going the way I think I dream and I want. Very good. Okay, Mr. Sir. I tell you, if you are happy, please stay on the set. If you have to go outside and attend this kind of talk, we need a career plan to talk outside. They will charge minimum three thousand rupees. We need to learn that one. One person, minimum three thousand rupees outside of the talk. And you know this, okay? And all the speakers, man, they are here for all of us to share the journey, how to become that, what are the opportunities, what are the experiences, what is happening, everything. I think. It is a great uh, clap. You are a great clap. I tell you, I tell you, it is not only about the fame, but so many inspirational statements also in the people that we have. 
Because the first of the devices that we started is that it is not only doctor scientific. There are many other ideas. There are many other ideas in the technology. We have this limited to one group of people. And many other ideas. And the way we very specially the challenging time and the struggle she has shared. You know, sometimes we will be going abroad or doing this, that, and all that. And this, I think, is really good. All this is inspiration. I think it is interesting. It makes nice more good. I just want to use students like it rough here, last page there, and all. Don't do this. This is proper information and knowledge and inspiration statement. They will get to see me, these kind of speakers. Actually, they are very expensive and they will be rare. Okay, I cannot make this time for you. This is the proper office time now. Sacrifice this time and come. Therefore, I tell you, I want one proper notebook and on the top you write all the whole board. Okay, this. Uh, and you proper write, write your. See, you must not decide. You decide. You decide. You decide. After this talk, maybe some of you get inspiration and want to do this. So you are deciding now. Therefore, you write all this information to be very useful to you. When you decide yourself. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes or no, write all this information properly and keep this book for your lifetime. Not only nice chapter and texture. This book will remain for lifetime. Where do you open this book for this and for this and for this and for this? This book should remain with you for lifetime. It's interesting. This is practical knowledge you can look it out or in the books. Yes? So once again, Madam, thank you so much for coming. And for seeing that you have You are so proud of it. You are so proud of it. You are so proud of it.